Night Light Sports Extra is brought to you by Isabella Bank. Hey everyone and welcome to Friday Night Lights. Week three of high school football is upon us in mid-Michigan. That's right, Mark. We have double-digit games once again. Plus, we'll be presenting our WNEM Play of the Night. In addition to that, we'll announce our three finalists for next week's Game of the Week. A jam-packed show for you tonight, so let's get to it. Friday Night Lights Game of the Week is brought to you by Priority Waste. Heritage traveling to take on Grand Blank. The Bobcats hosting their first varsity football game at their new $44 million stadium. Grand Blank strikes first. Sophomore quarterback Jake Morrow comes right into your living room, gets home for seven. It's 7 0. The Hawks would sustain a drive. Look at the throw from Ethan Mason to Julian Collar. A perfect pass and catch. That sets up Ty Robertson. The SVSU commit powers his way in for the touchdown. It's 7 6. The Bobcats. Answer right back. It's Morrow rolling out. Going to fire it to JT Weber. He stays on his feet for the touchdown. This game turned into a shootout where Grand Blank protects their new home, winning this game 53-33. to All right, now staying with the Saginaw Valley League South, Saginaw United welcoming Lapeer to town. The Lightning looking to stay unbeaten while United were looking for their first win. As we pick things up in the first quarter, Saginaw has the ball. Jordan Allen avoids the sack, chucks it downfield, and Jaleon Brown is going to make the catch into Lapeer territory. A huge play right there from United. Now the Lightning has the ball, and Zach Olenisiak, he's already been outstanding this season. He takes the snap for Lapeer, looks to the end zone, and this one is caught by Connor Brown for the Lapeer. Here, touchdown and the Lightning would strike first and they take control throughout this entire game as the Lightning would remain undefeated, shutting out Saginaw United 49 to nothing. Carmen Ainsworth, another Saginaw Valley League South squad, taking on Midland High. Starting in the third quarter, 14 6 Chemex, Isaiah Henderson with the Q QB keeper and he would plow his way for the touchdown for the Chemex. Carmen Ainsworth trying to chip away at the Chemex lead. Alex Looney going to the air, but the pass is intercepted by Noah Wall, who sees nothing but green in front of him as he dives in the end zone for the pick six. Second half was all Chemex. Fourth quarter, Wall taking the handoff, escapes one tackle, spins out of another, then lunges forward for another touchdown. The PAT was missed as Midland would go on to defeat Carmen Ainsworth 41-12. State runner-up Frankenmuth looking to get back to Ford Field. The Eagles hosting John Glenn. The Bobcats looking to tally their first win of this young 2023 season. John Glenn starting out strong. The handoff going to be to Garrett Hillborn. Look at the speed. Gone from 49 yards out. It's 6-0 Bobcats. Frankenmuth looking to answer. The sweep going to give to Griffin Barker. He gets to the edge and comes right into your living room. He gets taken down inside the five-yard line, but no worries. Jack Rich has his back, punches it in for the touchdown as Frankenmuth takes down John Glenn, 35 to 6. Now one of our Game of the Week finalists, Ithaca, traveling to take on Saginaw Nouvelle Catholic Central. Second half in the Yellow Jackets, they have possession. Jackson Kahn fakes the give, throws to Noah Risner down the sideline, and he's in for the touchdown. Ithaca, they are on a roll, though, now getting the crowd hyped up for that one. Here come the Yellow Jackets again. Nathan Mikesell takes the handoff. Watch out. He's got room to run all the way down the sideline for a 72-yard Ithaca touchdown. It might just be our Hurley Medical Center play of the night as Ithaca got out ahead, never looked back as they beat the Panthers tonight 58-7. to Bay City Central welcomed Midland down to town tonight. Both teams entering this matchup with a 1-1 one one record. First play of the second half, Dow up 13-0. Garland's Ruinoff makes a great cut, spins off a tackle and gets stuck by this blocker, but keeps it moving, and he goes all the way for a 55-yard touchdown. The Wolves will look to answer back. Kate Sowinski finds Kenton Van Dusen, who shows off the hands here and makes a great catch for the six-yard score to make it 19-6. On the Chargers' next drive, Tyler Stettler would follow his blocks and go untouched into the end zone. Dow would win it 34-6. to Bay City Western hosting Traverse City West tonight. The Warriors down by eight, but rallying back. Jackson Clark going to fire it down the middle of the field to Eli Malin. He hauls it in and then just crosses the goal line before getting taken down. Their defense would step up as well. Preston Schufelt going to grab the quarterback and throw him down. But Bay City Western would fall in a close one, eight to seven. 